Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant step towards enhancing its land defense capabilities, the Polish army is set to finalize two major contracts for Rosomac carriers equipped with ZSSW-30 turrets this year. According to a recent Defense 24 publication dated June 3, 2024, these contracts underline Poland's commitment to modernizing its armored combat vehicle fleet. The first contract, expected to be signed within weeks, will procure 58 Rosomac transporters in their standard configuration. Later, in the fourth quarter of 2024, a second contract will secure 174 KTO Rosomac L-type vehicles, featuring an extended hull. All these vehicles will be equipped with the newly developed, more powerful Scania DC-13 engine from Sweden, replacing the older Scania DI-12 model. This move addresses the obsolescence of the DI-12 and enhances the operational capabilities of the Rosomac carriers. Central to these upgrades is the ZSSW-30 turret, a high-tech remotely operated weapon station developed by Polish company Huda Stoloa Walla, HSW, in partnership with WB Electronics. This turret, developed between 2013 and 2021, is armed with a versatile 30mm ATK-44 chain gun and a coaxial UKM-2000C machine gun. Additionally, it features two launchers equipped with Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs. The ZSSW-30 turret is not just about firepower, it includes a sophisticated computerized fire control system and a laser range finder, enhancing its accuracy and operational capability. The turret's design allows for future upgrades, such as a 40mm X-180 caliber with programmable ammunition. The fire control system, based on the hunter-killer-slash-killer-killer principle, incorporates optoelectronic heads by PCO, ensuring it remains at the cutting edge of military technology. The ZSSW-30 turret is already operational on the Borsuk Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, and is slated for use on the upcoming Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle, CBWP, further demonstrating its pivotal role in Poland's defense strategy. Following the completion of qualification tests in late 2021, a 2022 contract for 70 carriers set a deadline for 2027. The first units have already been deployed with the 21st Podhale Rifle Brigade. Despite these advancements, the Rosomac carrier equipped with the ZSSW-30 turret did not meet buoyancy requirements, leading to the exclusion of this capability from final requirements. However, the focus remains on delivering robust land-based defense solutions. The structured approach to these contracts, with phased deliveries, aims to expedite the process. Lieutenant Colonel Pollock has indicated that the first batch of vehicles under the new contract will be delivered in 2026, with more advanced versions arriving between 2027 and 2029. A framework contract envisions acquiring 341 carriers equipped with the ZSSW system, crucial for replacing older models, some of which have been deployed to Ukraine. The WB Group is exploring enhancements for the ZSSW-30 turret, particularly integrating artificial intelligence into the fire control system. This will expand its capabilities and adaptability to various anti-tank guided missiles. In December 2023, the Armaments Agency expressed its intention to equip Rosomac vehicles with ATGMs. Ongoing initiatives include acquiring 58 Rosomac KTOs with Spike LR ATGM missiles and another 174 KTOs with systems from various suppliers, including Spike and Javelin missiles. The Rosomac's modular armor can be upgraded per mission requirements, offering protection from small arms fire to IEDs and anti-tank mines. Its onboard systems include advanced communication networks, a battlefield management system, BMS, and modern fire control systems, ensuring effective coordination and engagement during operations. These developments underscore Poland's strategic focus on enhancing its defense capabilities through advanced technology and modernized equipment. The integration of ZSSW-30 turrets and the new Scania DC-13 engines will significantly bolster the operational effectiveness of the Polish Army's armored vehicle fleet, ensuring they are well prepared for future challenges. That's all for now. See you later.